Okay guys, I am back and ready for video 9. And for this, I'm pretty much just going to get my guys to the bottleneck to get to Primordial Spirit. And then start the adventure breakthrough. So for the Sunflower Refining Law, when they get to the Golden Core Breakthrough, they have this Sincerity step right here, which is an adventure breakthrough. And I'll need to get through that by just having my disciples go out into different going out into the map for a certain amount of time and then they'll finish that breakthrough so that's pretty much the goal of this video is to get my disciples to start going to that adventure breakthrough so that they can eventually move forward to becoming primordial spirits afterwards so first I want to start by making sure that all of my disciples have good mental state right now this guy's at 88 and uh, let's see this one's at 90 88 89 okay so they're all pretty close and then this guy's at 83 so let's start off by putting everyone on meditation for meditation it calls lifespan however lifespan is pretty easy to get so you can use it indiscriminately and I'll show you guys how I get more lifespan if I do run into the need for a lifespan. Let's put my three on the cushion. Whichever one belongs to them. Well, it doesn't really matter which ones. Um, the cushions are assigned once you do meditation. Unless you're blocking another disciple from cultivating that's under golden core stage. So I'm just going to do that. And make sure all of these guys meditate. Why are you trying to sleep? It's gonna cancel that one. And now I'm gonna do my thought shards. So let's see what's up with this cat. Okay, so this cat has delighted and aesthetic, so I can increase their luck, which might be worth it. First, let me see if there's any reason for me to want to get some more thought shards on this guy because I can just use three three right here and then awaken them into becoming a disciple. However, if I can get these pretty easily, oh, they already have the lighted, but they don't have a um, ecstatic, so I might go for ecstatic and then. Uh, Maybe one of these. I see smelling food. I already have that ready too. So I would just need a green one to be able to pretty much instantly get this next set of three. I know I see pants twice. Okay, that might be worth it. Especially if I can get hunting. I'll do hunting pants and then the static instead of smelling food just because pants also increases luck and luck is just really important to have so there will be no harm in getting this guy 1.5 more luck or 1.7 more luck let's just make sure I have everything ready cool then I also want to work on these guys Okay, they're already thinking. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are good. And then this cat right here, this is the one that I'm going to make into an abbot. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him this full set and then awaken intelligence because I'm already on day 38, which is extremely late for me not having an abbot. Honestly, I should have just sent any disciple into Mount South to become an abbot and then just use them as a container. However, I was just doing too much at the time but it's not the end of the world if you don't make an abbot instantly but you do want to make one in a reasonable amount of time so this turtle which I have that will be my sub spirit farmer let's see what I want to have on this guy yeah I'll do these three right here and then I'll see if I can get some another set of three watching sit, hearing light, smelling seed mm. I see sweating which increases con. Oh, hair and earthquake. This is really good. Cultivation speed bonus. 
facing west. No, that won't matter. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'll just wait to see if they get some more thought shards. Then this bear is pretty much not ready. Let's see where this guy is at. I'm hearing music. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, I think I do want hearing music, so I'll lo either load that one up or just try to save up another green. Okay, so they already have trees, so if I get this, it won't harm them, but it could be useful since I already have two of those. Oh, snow is here. Okay, this is perfect. So I think I'll do snow, and then I'll keep this hearing uh, uh which one was that hearing earthquake oh hearing music i'll keep this hearing music and then let's remove myself since the bonus is pretty small so to get the snow thought shower, i believe that they have to observe one of these trees I need to pull up my Excel sheet I believe is uh, I don't even want to say which one it is because I don't want to confuse you guys let's see let's see where are my thought shards I'm like struggling to find the one that I need So I can see, okay, it is a pine tree. Nice. So let me observe this pine tree. Cool. I need to increase my volume too. I don't hear any ACS music. All right, that's whatever. I'll just have volume in the next video. <laughs> so I have this tiger about to observe this pine tree so that they can get the snow thought shard. And then they'll have snow watching fly and a bit happy. And then I'll get three more for them. However, this tiger is meant to study the an advanced law, which I don't have yet. So I do have extra time for them to accumulate some intelligence. So there's really no rush on that one. And then, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. So alternatively, I do have these two guys who are ready to be disciples. However, since my guys are still meditating, I'll just have them do some like regular work, like crafting or tailor. Let's see if there's any items that I might need to craft. I'm thinking that I might need a vessel since those are really important. However, that's a little bit expensive. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like kind of too lazy to craft anything. I guess I could make marble blocks, which would be nice. And then I can also make some spirit stone bo blocks with my crafters. You can never have enough spirit stone blocks. However, I just want to be uh, mindful and make sure that I don't use up too much spirit stone when making these blocks. So actually, let me just do like a loop of 50. I honestly have no clue what I want to do. The what I want to do with those guys. So back to these cultivators who are um, meditating. So let's see. Okay, so they're gaining an ESP like pretty quickly. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty much just have to wait. Um, I don't want you to do that. Oh, 
auto saving because I'm on immortal mode. This is the Abbott. Oh, what are you going to butcher? Whatever. Okay, so now that I have this cat that awakened to be an Abbott. I pretty much just want my abbot to have high charisma, which this cat actually doesn't have high charisma. I should have did some more thought shards for that. However, it's whatever. So then the next thing for me to do with this guy is to pretty much send him out to become an abbot. And before I do that, I want to also increase the equip a bracelet on him because that's what's going to increase their charisma to a little bit more. I don't know why they didn't equip that. Okay. Maybe I gave them the wrong item. Yeah, I, pro I probably misclicked and hit the pants. So now their charisma is still pretty low, 4.4. But ideally, you would want your abbot to have over 8 charisma. And then once you send them to the agency, they'll pretty much get enough visit they'll get enough residents to unlock a T2 agency as soon as possible however I do just want to get this out of the way I'm just going to do like A, B, C, whatever I don't really want to give them any spirit stones <coughs> but um besides that even if your abbot doesn't have enough stats to have like eight charisma you can still increase their stats by inviting different mortals and then having them add their stats to the abbot's effective stats and i'll show you guys what that looks like once uh i have mount south established yeah they're already in bad mood so i just had to take them out next thing i want to do is get this guy who will be my talisman crafter to train to do this um, next breakthrough. So Primordial Symbols Law is a law in which cultivators can put talismans on their bodies to get bonuses from those talismans based on the amount of chi that they use. So that's what these talisman breakthroughs are about. So pretty much to do these talisman breakthroughs you have to select the breakthrough and then it'll bring it up to it'll take you to this menu where you can select how much chi you want to use per tick so this will multiply the power of the talisman that you're adding and then you pretty much can like just put a talisman on the cultivator but you have to like draw it perfectly so that you actually get the talisman otherwise they'll run out of chi before you get the talisman and then you'll get just get some random talisman which pretty much sucks but alternatively you can just if you have the mod great painter plus then you can use that mod to pretty much like just break the game and then give them like the maximum bonus for that talisman as a nato talisman regardless of how however much chi that you have so but ideally you would just have a good amount of mass chi and be able to do it the regular way. I honestly don't know what I want to put on this cultivator. So I'll just put something like... I'll just do a dark armor talisman because for my sub spirit turtle I want them to be a primordial symbol of cultivator. So I'm just going to do this as like a practice run. As you can see like because I have that one uh, setting selected and my total max chi is pretty low then I'm just losing like a lot of chi so I actually should learn some max chi manuals on this guy before doing that so let me start by increasing their max chi a little bit I don't want to spend too much inspiration on this guy because I'm really not trying to make them one of my main cultivators.
they only need a little bit and they will really just be there to craft talismans so I'm trying to figure out which one do I want to use so SG plus base match chi mm. chi recovery breed is good base match chi is really good too but these values are pretty low yeah, I'll just do it like this and hope that they learn most of it so this guy's going to add it and who's a butcher? one needs to butcher this beast let's see where my disciples are since I'm not using As Asylum Mod anymore because Asylum Mod doesn't have an option for the meditation miracle I'll have to pretty much just manually manage these guys so as you can see this guy is at like 68 mental state which is good 72 and 69 and it's only been like a day and my guys are pretty far in there I think it will take around like three days so I should be good to have these guys start their adventure breakthrough around day 41 and then of course I want to make sure that this tiger also has that snow and I have what I want loaded up so after I get the snow thought sure what was the one that I said that I wanted them to do mm. I wanted them to do hunting and probably a bit ticked off since that's already there. Yeah, I'll just do it like that. And as you can see, my abbot has a adventure to Mount South and now they're starting to build out the agency. But yeah, pretty much once you get to go to core, you should just put your cultivators on meditation and just have them cultivate until they get to wherever they need to get to. So usually after you get to golden core, the nets uh, cultivation bottleneck will give them like a weird type of breakthrough or something like that. But it all depends on the law. I don't know that for some flower law, it's an adventure breakthrough. So I'm pretty much just cultivating them to this breakthrough, but my plan is to rush to Primordial Spirit since Primordial Spirit State is when you can really start to do some cool things. And then that's when you pretty much approach like late game ability. Uh, this guy's immortal. So I'll just kill him. And then my dog should be good to handle the rest or the other guy. I don't know why they're bearing off. Hmm. I'll send out my inner disciple with the help just in case because I don't want this guy to attack a mortal or something like that. Oh, they died and they landed perfectly in the hell gate, which is very convenient for me. Oh, one thing about Meditation Miracle also is that your disciples won't be able to eat the spirit stone, which also increases their cultivation. So sometimes you'll have to also turn off this Meditation Miracle just so that they will eat that spirit stone like as you can see right here this guy's running out of spirit stone cultivation buff too so let's make sure they meditate or make sure that they eat it a spirit stone so actually let me stop these guys and make it so that they each eat a spirit stone I know one of them just ate one, but I have a good amount of spirit stone, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay, this guy's already at low mental state, so I probably don't want to do that. This guy. Eh, they're all pretty much at low mental state. So I'll just keep it like that. Let's see how many sacred talismans do I have. I still have eight sacred talismans, so I could do something with those too since I have four cultivators mm. let's see my one is the one that has all of the talismans I could make a talisman of tranquil heart which will increase my guys mental state 
but that one isn't that good so I think I'm just gonna skip out on that let's see I'll have one of these guys learn the heaven sent talisman since this talisman will increase the cultivation or increase the five attributes which will then increase how fast they cultivate because their law match will be good but I need to see which guy doesn't have it like as a really expensive cost yeah each of these guys have about the same amount of inspiration so this thing costs 100,000 inspiration which I'm not trying to do mm, 80,000 let me just learn it on the guy that has the really high amount of inspiration I think it's mile one yeah it's been a while since I played, so I'm just like trying to look around. So I have my one draw, four heaven sent talismans after learning how to create them. And then, as you can see, like right here. This is the law match bonus that I'm speaking of. So pretty much these guys have a really high law match. But I mean, if you get more high law match, then your cultivation speed will increase. So that's really nice. And of course they're sleeping, but everyone needs to get their mental state up. So it's really not that much of a rush. So let me go back to this disciple and actually try to do this breakthrough the right way. There's really not much that I want on this disciple. I think hmm, I'll have this disciple become my artifact crafter then and then just use the mod to increase their artifact or not artifact crafter, alchemist. So for the most part, when you use this mod, when you use this mod when practicing this law, you get really overpowered numbers. So what people do is kind of limit themselves to using this mod with just an alchemist based talisman because there are not really many ways to increase your alchemy yield in the game and it's not it's not it doesn't feel as cheaty as using it to for example increase your artifact power because if you increase your alchemy yield through talismans then you're pretty much just l lowering the amount of materials that you would need to create more pills however the difference between that is really just like a slight time difference between like having guys adventure and collect those materials so it it is a big advantage however there's no law that's good for alchemy and whatever so like people just like okay I'll just use the primordial assemblies law to make an alchemist and make them a very overpowered alchemist because they would increase the amount of pills that they get when doing alchemy so if you want to use the mod then you would just use great painter and then just put the slider up and so my cultivator got a illicit concoction yield bonus of 3.7 and you can see that in their cultivation menu you can see like all of their bonuses that they got and this 3.7 is a really 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 high number and this is like approaching like cheat level however I already pretty much rationalized it in my mind and like uh oh, it's whatever I can do this for alchemy but I probably won't even use this guy as an alchemist but I just wanted to show you guys like how that looks when you use that mod with that law let's see what this guy wants oh this is a panda they have like no good stats besides cheese and wow yeah, I don't think I want that guy as a disciple. What's their movement speed? Oh, they have 10 movement speed. Yeah, I want them actually. <laughs> That's really good for a, like an abbot. And I'm just checking sex to see what they're selling. This guy's been sleeping for a really long time. But yeah, I feel like I'm pretty much like approaching late game because of how much stuff I don't have to do right now. So 
so I know I wanted this guy to have hunting so that he can get a nice little movement speed boost okay my one finally learned those talismans so I'll get the seven cent talisman so we can increase our law match and then begin cultivating again And I'll also need the Heaven Sent Talisman for the Avenger Breakthrough because the Avenger Breakthrough is dependent on your intelligence and your luck. The time that it takes to do the Avenger Breakthrough. So it's just like a double, uh, like killing two birds with one stone. So you'll pretty much always need a Heaven, pretty much always need a Heaven Sent Talisman for your cultivators. So I have them guys equip that. So as you can see their stats have drastically increased and their law match went up a little bit but yeah you should pretty much just always use a heaven sent talisman if you can because of how much it affects the stats of the cultivators So I'm just going to have these guys have that on and then have them continue to get their mental state up. I also need to see if there's any items that I have that increases mental state. This increases mental state by like a very small amount. And then let's see what other items because I honestly forget what items I bought. This is Snake Demon Scale. Yeah, I think I'm fine with just that. For my sub spirit turtle, let's see how they're doing. Ah, they're sleeping, they're still waiting to accumulate some thought shards. I'm pretty sure this is what I wanted for this guy. Do I want a bit happy or a bit ticked off? Let's see. Okay, so this will increase intelligence, and their intelligence is pretty low. Oh, I think I. If I remember correctly, I need to increase their charisma. Let me go back to the wiki because I honestly forgot. I'm searching up seven slaughtering sword. Okay, so they need 7 Perception, 7 Con, and 4 Luck. So I, just, I do need to just focus on Luck for this guy. Okay, and they have 2 Luck. Then how many do I, am I adding through Thought Shards? 0.2 and then 1. So 1.2 Luck. And then this is 0.5. Okay, so this is actually pretty perfect. So I'll add this set here. And then start working on whatever net, whatever else I can get. I'll let them continue to think so that they can get some more green shards. So yeah, this is a pretty uneventful uh, situation. Okay, so Mount South has to choose a policy. These policies have a resource cost. So as you can see, this charity policy costs 20 wheat per day. And then if you don't have a policy on your agencies, then you'll lose followers. And then as you can see, this agency will generate 10 daily influence. And you can use influence to either build more agencies or upgrade your agency or interact and do like things with other agencies that you can recruit. And then another thing you can do with agencies is build these different plots to increase their uh, daily output. So right here, when you have a tier one agency, you can have um, three different locations, constructions open. So for Mount South, I like to do field because that will generate 20 wheat, which is exactly what I need. And then I like to do another one so that it can generate 20 wheat for any other agencies that I want to build out. And then you'll also need to create a mine, which will yield brownstone because agencies can have disasters which you need to help them out and you'll need brownstone to alleviate those disasters which is why I didn't sell my brownstone to the merchant earlier because brownstone is very useful for that 
and it's pretty much like super important but you can also have some disciples that are cultivators go to the agency to help with the disaster out depend and then how much they help is dependent on their cultivation level but you'll still need a good amount of brownstone okay so this guy who's supposed to be my other primordial star primordial symbols law guy is ready to think and I'm not even sure if I want to use them because this guy's cultivation speed is low however I don't need them to get too far as you can see before primordial symbols law cultivators get to golden core they have two more talismans and then after golden core there's the primordial talisman right here and then in pure yang there's a divine talisman so if you just hover your mouse over these you can like pretty much see how many natal talismans you'll be able to add to the cultivator but I generally stop at the primordial talisman okay it seems they run out of inspiration so let's have it like this I'm honestly not sure what I want to do with this guy I think I might just make them a um, like a good outer disciple instead so I'll just do it like this honestly I'm just really unsure about that one okay my disciples are getting pretty good mental state Let's see what my uh, farms are looking like. Is this guy still farming? Yeah, <laughs> they've been farming for like 40 days. Okay, why well is my turtle under attack? Ah, a cat broke through. That's unfortunate. So my disciples have dark armor talismans, so I'm pretty comfortable with attacking them without the dog's help because their barrier power is really high or not really high but it's over one so it's at least going to be a fair fight however if the barrier power wasn't good and they weren't at golden core level then I wouldn't do that so now that I have some chi all around my map thanks to my chi burst that I did earlier I'm getting a lot of cases where these animals are breaking through and these animals also have a higher chance to break through depending on how many animals are already or demon beasts are already on my map and I only have one so it's just a annoying situation but it's fine okay let's see where this guy is at okay yeah I do want to increase their learning speed and then I'll take a static as well for some more luck yeah, this sounds good. On day 40. Oh, nice. A Lushu came. So when these Lushu and Fei come to the map, they'll pretty much just stay there for a couple of amount of days. So right here it says 6 days. But the one that you start with in character creation will stay for 30 days then they'll give you this weather perpetually until they leave or until like you knock them out so I kind of just let the Lushu stay and then when they're close to leaving I'll kill them and then collect their Lushu hide and then if it's a Fae then I'll just kill them because typically I just don't like when it's raining because that's gonna make my disciples have like really bad mood and stuff like that but the Lushu is a okay to stay. I also just remember that I forgot to so chant the sentient spirit, did I? Oh, I must have lost a sentient spirit somehow then. I remember I had one. I don't know where it went. Whatever. So these animals are hurt now. Okay, so this guy is cultivating fast now. So let's see. With their um, 
Let's see, what's their cultivation speed? Okay, 75% now. <laughs> so yeah, this guy, I'm going to spec him off for alchemy, so I'm just going to keep cheating and using the imperin the talisman with the mod. But I'm going to try to make the sub-spirit turtle legitly using the same law, so I'll show you guys what that looks like later on. Mm, you don't want this guy to attack inner disciples because that would just annoy them. Can I make more satchets? Let's see. Do I have the materials for it? Yeah, I have purity leaves. Which I can use to make satchets, but I would honestly just rather have my disciples eat the purity leaf because that will increase their mental state by a little bit. Okay, so I think I want to start this other round of cultivation. Their mental state is not at 95, which is ideal, since, but the cultivation speed still starts to get really good after like 85 mental state, so it's susceptible. And I'm approaching day 41, and I want to scum the psych trays so that I can get some more Serenity Soul Gems. So I have my guys eat a purity leaf, and then I'll have my guys eat some spirit stone. And then I just saw that, that I had some rubbish, which is really important because some of these sex have rubbish as a favorite. So as you can see, Mount Kulun has rubbish as a favorite, but I'm just going to see which other sex have it. Mm. Golden Peak has rubbish. Okay. I think I'll do Mount Kunlun. So rubbish happens whenever uh, item pretty much expires, and it'll turn into rubbish. But rubbish runs; it'll decay like really fast, so it'll disappear fast. So you want to be able to like catch that if you can. So I have these guys all with spirit zones for three days, and then they have the purity leaf. So now their mental states are pretty good. So last round, this guy got to about like halfway there. This guy as well. So all of them got to about halfway there, except for mile two. They're zooming through because they, I believe, they have that thought shard that's increasing cultivation speed. Or maybe not. I don't know why mile two was moving so fast. But anyways, we're back to meditation. Oh, I think it's because mile two was the one that was using the good cushion for the earliest part of the game play but these cushions still have really high chi values due to the lingering effects of the chi burst however the effects of the chi burst do go down eventually so the chi that was added from the burst will start to diminish from the tile so just be more mindful about that you may need to like reburst your cultivation array just to add some more chi if you want to cultivate faster. Now through your sleeping, of course, stop sleeping please. Thank you. So these guys should be good and they should be ready to do their breakthrough whenever they run out of mental state. So I'm not too worried about that. And now I'm really just focused on making sure that I catch day 41 since I've missed like every, I missed it for like three days in a row. And I'll show you guys how that works. So I'm pretty much just waiting until day 40, like 23 hours in. And then I'll save my game and then start to pretty much just keep re-rolling it until I have a sex sell me some Serenity Soldier. But before I do that, let me just double check that there's nothing that I missed from these sex. Snake Demon Scale. This is something that I do want. So once I start to get like really deep into my gameplay and I get more spirit wood, I just start to trade spirit wood for items. So this is a really good currency to trade to sex. And then I'll just keep going down the list. Venus wood is pretty good too. However, I don't think I can afford that right now, so. Oh, there's another snake demon scale. I'll get that. 
and then there's this other item called poem of sadness this item is really overpowered in terms of selling because it has this price right however the price increases for each tier that you increase it I think it might be a bug so pretty much what you do is buy this poem of sadness and you increase this tier with the spectre refinement miracle which you can learn in the manual pavilion so this is always worth it to buy as long as you can refine it which I can so I'm gonna I guess trade some more spare wood so that I can afford this and then be good so now that that's done let me just double check on my cultivators as you can see mile 2 is pretty much almost there mile 1 these guys are coming along but this guy is pretty much there so what I do pretty much every 10 days if I'm like really really trying hard is I'll save the game right before the first like day 41 because I know that's when the items are going to change so I'll just rename this to day 40 I just name it like sex because that just makes the most sense for me then of course I have the save scum because I am on immortal mode and I'm not playing with full vanilla because I have that modifier for the cave so I'll just put my save file in there and see what happens so to be clear it's day 40 right and as you can see some of these items that they're selling for example like this fire essence bar they'll reset and then sell new items so I just skip to day 41 and then just check every sec to see what items they're selling so as you can see now they're selling red ginseng wolf meat and things like that so I'll just go through here I just pretty much just look through everything gold sun crown is pretty good and the rabbit demon foot and the winter worm Ooh, that's a really good haul with primordial soul gems I really want the serenity soul gems however this is a really good outcome that was that has some good items that I wanted however I'm just going to stick to the script I really really want those soul gems so that I can make some more talismans so let me just go back paste and then reload Hopefully I can get more than one sec to selling the soul gems. Again, I'm pretty much just waiting for day 41. Primordial soul gems again, which are really good. Junk pill, don't want that. Obsession gems are really good if you're training Shindal. Blood talismans. Holy stone block is good too. That's a really good option. Alright, I'm going to do this a few more times in hopes that I get Serenity Soul Gems. If not, then I'll just move forward with um, pushing to Primordial Spirit. And then once I'm Primordial Spirit, I can pretty much just spin my sec pretty fine, which means that I can Soul Chant all of the animals in my sect and just get Serenity Soul Gems that way. Loading. Let's see what they have here. 
Marble block, nope. Looking for that inner misc. Yeah, so what I'm trying to get are these. And sets can sell these in stacks of 25 if I keep trying. However, I'm getting a little bit exhausted about that one. Yeah, so this will be my last one if there are some items that are like acceptable even if they aren't serious or need so gems just because I don't want to put too much of an emphasis on doing this however it is a good way to get some so gems like really early if you're very determined let the game run again Okay, some snake gal. Wow, I like those two items. Oh, and a scraper. The scraper is really good because it increases building speed. Cat soul gem. That's okay. Okay, yeah, I'll just take this haul. Mm. See, as you can see, the poem of sadness is already like. 2500 and I bought it for what 680 something so I'll just trade this item and some more spirit wood pretty much never get tired of selling spirit wood and I have some stone essence left over which I don't need because I have a better cultivation right now so I'll get those two items which are good for increasing my cultivator stats then this one increases building, so look at this. Building speed to be exact. Spirit crystals are nice too, so I might get those later. And then I believe there was something else I was thinking about. Maybe the cat soul gem. That's really good since that will add a soul a sub spirit. So I think I do want to get that. But I'm just trying to think of what items I'm willing to sell for them right now. Beast blood. I do need at least two beast blood to change the temperature. Well, actually, no, because I'm nowhere near the winter, so I won't need to heat up a room just yet. So I can trade those beast blood, and then I can also trade more. I don't want to do more spirit stone because I'm doing so much already. Sheet music. And I guess Demon Beast Hide. Whatever, Spirit Wood. I'm going poor, guys. So, this has, I ran out of resources because a day passed and these things are still being built. However, once they're built, everything will be fully funded. And I really would like for these plants to start growing too. But this guy should be really close to reaching their limits. Yep. So I'll turn off meditation since they reached their limits and then start this adventure breakthrough. So the adventure breakthrough is a breakthrough in which they get progress by being out on the world map for a certain amount of time and the sunflower law has the time set to I believe 12 days however the amount of time required to do the adventure breakthrough is reduced by their social intelligence and luck so I'm going to keep the heaven sent talisman on to keep their social intelligence and luck on however since they'll be out on the map I I think I'll want to create, collect some resources in the meantime and unlock some locations. 
So that's another benefit of being a Sunflower Disciple is that you can do things in the meantime during the Adventure Breakthrough. So let's see, where are these other guys at? I also may want to use the Dark Armor Talisman and Heavenly Heart Talisman for some other Disciples. And this for defensive ability, so I'll unequip these. And then I'll equip the Spiritual Traveling or the Departing Shadow, depending on whichever one is better. This is 1000. This is 144. And then this is 240, so I'm going to use the Departing Shadow and then the Forest Seer Talisman. Because the Forest Seer one is what will allow you to unlock locations quicker. So, Mal 2, you have everything you need. And now it's time for you to adventure out into the world. Where do I want you to adventure? Hmm. I want Mao to to try to unlock the locations in Mount Shu. And then since I did that, let's see where these other guys are going. Hmm. I also want to put the scraper on my builder. These guys suck at building. I really just have one good other disciple. So the scraper right here, as you can see, it will allow your disciple to build very fast. So if we check out this guy's stats. Oh, they already have a scraper. Hmm. I must have equipped that later. So yeah, their their bonus sp speed is already good then. So I don't need to equip that, but I'll use that for my other bulls which I'm cooking right now. Let's see how these guys are going. Oh, this guy is pretty much ready. I just need to do watching work. I really forgot. It's been so long, honestly. Okay, so I need them to look observe a crafting table. So we go to decorations or just any crafting table. Let's see. Yeah, they should be referencing one of these. However, it's kind of a long distance, so I'm just going to build one on right here. So this is going to be really nice because now I'll have another really good outer disciple with the thought chart that increases their work efficiency so that we doubly good. And then a bowl. Oh, so I have two of them that are almost. So I'm just waiting for this guy to get a second watching work thought chart so that I can add the third one. And bowl with watching work is very overpowered. I don't even know if this one has watching work. Let's see. Nope, this one doesn't have watching work, so these guys will be 50% faster than that one. Let me actually make these guys farmers since this guy desperately needs help. They need a farm tool. Okay, so they may have to go back to being crafters. So I'm going to create these spirit wood farm tools. Yeah, I probably should create some more tools since I have a really high disciple limit now. Let's make this guy the crafter again so that they can craft these farm tools and turn these off. I've pretty much created enough of these. Oh, two guys just reached the limit, so I have to do the same thing with them, and then we're just waiting for mile four. Okay, so he's really close, but his mental state is almost at unstable. And these guys barely got there, too. So let's turn off meditation for these guys. And 
And then I think I just want to wait for Mao 4 too, since he's almost there. Oh, nice. Mao 2 just got a uh, Dark Steel Ore from their escapades. Let's see. How's this guy cultivating? Eh, it's quick enough. Did those farm tools get created? Okay, so we're still waiting for spirit wood, so I need to assign someone to be a logger to create those spirit wood. So let's just do it like this. Oh yeah, once you get to a golden core, if you like leave and then come back, you'll get a title. Also, it's better to have your disciple camp and enter if they're doing an adventure breakthrough. However, I'm just doing the adventure because I want to get like the extra bonuses of unlocking different locations. But I'll probably switch to camp and enter once I've, I'm satisfied with how much I've unlocked. Uh, this guy is already at a bad mental state. I think I'm just going to push them to their limits. <laughs> This guy is going to be really mad at me. Okay, so they're there. So once you have a disciple at like a mental state that's under, I think, 40, then they're going to increase their mental state really slowly. So what you have to do is use a talisman to increase their mental state to above 40 so that you can increase their mental state at a better rate, if that makes sense. So I'm going to increase this. Uh, I'm going to quit the story talisman on this guy and then toggle it so that their mental state is now 50 and then I'm gonna wait until the mental state increases so that when I take the talisman off it's still above 50 and then as you can see the mental state is going up like at a pretty good rate however if I didn't have that story talisman on because their mental state was under 30 it would have been like really really slow so now there's 65 I can remove this because it adds okay this ad is 18 so I'll wait until it gets to 68 nice we unlock gem spring cave which is really key location so now I can unequip this and now they're a stable mental state and then they'll go back up at the same rate because they're back to 50 and not at 30 so that's pretty much how you fix mental state if they be do become unstable. And you definitely want don't want them to sit at anything lower than 40. Let's see, these guys are really complaining. Yeah, I think I need to begin creating these different tools. Because I have so many disciples. I'm just going to do five of each one and then create some spirit wood timber. So that should create 100 spirit wood timber. And then this guy is losing consciousness. So I'm thinking that I should just soul chant him, anyways, since my rep won't approach 2000. Because if your rep gets to 2,000, that's when you start to get like really strong invaders. However, since this animal is dying, I should just soul chant them. Oh, this one already died. I don't really care about these animals right here, so I'm just going to soul chant them. I, I want to keep the turtle, though. Oops, I took a screenshot. So you can use the turtles to like use miracles that like steal things from animals because they have such a high lifespan. So like for example, uh, this bug. So for example, this skill right here. This one was still lifespan, but and recover your max chi. So it's just best to use spells like this on turtles because you can get like more out of them. But as you can see, I killed these guys. I got some Serenity Soul Gems, which is fine. I don't really care about them. So it's giving me a message, but they were really just there because they joined my sect. And now it's time to actually fix the Talismans on these guys. I want them to keep the Heaven Sent Talisman because they need that. 
law match and they need that intelligence and luck and then I want to give them all was it departing shadow and force here So this is pretty much the setup that you need to have when doing adventure breakthroughs. You want to do heaven sent and then you want to do like anything that's going to increase your adventure fly speed if you do want to unlock locations. But for the most part you should be good with just a heaven sent talisman. And then you can also equip these items if you have any like this rabbit demon's foot will increase my cultivator stats. It will increase their luck. And then if you have any other ways to increase their intelligence or luck then you want to use those. Ideally, I will also go to Manual Pavilion and learn manuals to increase these stats. However, I think I already learned uh, Way of Heavenly Fortune, which is the only one that I have right now, I believe. But I can double check. Just in case I did get a friendship manual that would increase it. And which I did. So this friendship manual is a power is increasing luck by 11%. So let me actually learn that on my disciples. And it only costs one attainment, so these are really, really helpful. I think I'm going to leave everything else alone because, as you can see, the costs are a little bit too expensive for me right now. And then I'll have this guy return, or just be more mindful about when they're going to return. Because my sect is controversial, I don't have any bad encounters with these sects when I talk to them. So that's really good. So now that Mount Two is back, I'll also cancel out their adventure real quick so that they can get an increase in luck and then let's see if I have a friendship manual for intelligence that would be super nice nope let's see let's try intelligence oh I do oh this isn't a friendship manual this is from an unorthodox one this one is the friendship manual it costs three attainment and it's counteractive. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, that's just me being really cheap. Actually, I don't want to do that because most of my cats have already have really high intelligence. Okay, this guy already has ten intelligence. So it's really just mouth three and mouth four that would need it. So mouth two is good f to just learn the one that increases luck. And then mod 3 and 4 need the one that increases intelligence. So you pretty much just got to be able to like catch yourself on these. The Yalu Perceptive one. And this will speed their adventure breakthrough timer. I have all of these tools being created and I think once these guys finish planting um, all of these plants I'll make them into my disciples to be the next generation however I do want to get that task done because my disciple has been doing plants has been planting for a really long time so like pretty much if you're raising Yagua I definitely like stop for a little bit to have these guys work as some uh, as outer disciples. I'm gonna awaken this guy since he's gonna be a really good outer disciple. And then let's see what this guy is looking like. Watching work, no. I just need one more watching work thought short. And then this guy needs a static. 
So I'm going to take the chant of phenomenon manual to, to add a static to my turtle. Let's see. So if you go to most sites, you can buy this manual called chant of phenomenon. And then with this manual, you'll get the ability to impart some thought shards on these guys. It's very similar to, it's basically the same as observing, but just a different way. But let's make sure that I'm continuing to do these adventure breakthroughs for these guys. So I have two guys go to Mount Shu because Mount Shu has five side locations to unlock. As you can see, I'm only 20% done. And then I'll have these guys do somewhere else. Let's see. I'll just start off by whatever location is closest. Because eventually I do want to have the whole map unlocked. So I'll just have them go to Mount Nalumbo since that's also close. And plus, the closer they are, the uh, quicker they can come back to defend the sector if needed. I also want to make sure I'm storing all of these manuals so that I'm not missing any. This Lushu is still here. I probably should take the Lushu down actually because it's giving me sunny day and the summer, which I'm sure is increasing the hot, like how hot my map is. So I think I do want to just kill this Lushu. This is Outer Disciple 2. So when you awaken these Yao guys, they get like skill levels based on whatever Yagua there are. Apparently this guy, wow, this guy only has 12 farming cap. <sighs> I must have overlooked something. Oh, the good thing is that my game actually just saved a minute ago. So I think I do want to go back and then see if I can try to reroll that. Let me put this in a different folder though. Because when you awaken Yao Guai, some of their stats can get like really weird. So I just want to make sure that that's because of my thought shards and not because of like some weird bug. Hopefully it saved before this guy became a Yagwai or an awakened animal. But it's okay if not. They still have the watch and work thought shards, so there's still a lot of things that this disciple can do for this sect. Let's see. Okay, yeah, they're awakening their intelligence. Let's see what their stats look like. I also want to see if Hu Ya can learn Chant of Phenomena now. Yep, they have enough inspiration to learn Chant of Phenomena. If their farming skill level is still bad, then I'll just deal with it. Okay, yeah. As I can see, I must have did something with their thoughts, right? Let's see. Ah, uh, I chose crafting over farming and that messed me up 
while they're at 12 formula when they're they have an 8 level reduction so they would have been at 20 formula when would be a beast at it however that is okay I also have this this I would be a farmer however they're definitely not like outer tier I wonder what this guy is looking at still waiting for watching work bad moves slacked and work what's the reason okay so I just get he just became our disciple so he needs a room and all of that other good stuff and this is pretty much why you always build all these starter buildings so that you can accommodate for all of your disciples so I think I want to give them a weapon and some pants oh, I have demon high clothes right here so that should be good for them and then if I also want them to have the scraper so that they can build and then they can have these thin pants and a bow so hopefully this fixes their mood small talk nice we got some ice crystal ore too let's reclick those pants since apparently I didn't click them before and these other guys are unlocking this other location as you can see this is 29 percent just from one two guys going and then this one right here is at 29 percent and I had my other disciple that was already going there like back and forth but Mount South is generating these three items. They're generating influence, influence, brownstone, and wheat, which is really nice. Then I can claim these items and actually bring them into my sec by pushing this button. And then I need 100 influence to open up these other locations. But you need to use Mount South first to even be able to accumulate inspiration. So and these guys are being hurt, but I don't care about them. Let's see where we're at with this one. Oh, I remember now. I had the hunting thought chart, but I didn't. Um, I didn't think it. So let's move forward with making this guy a cultivator. All these guys are coming back to the site and getting their titles. And then this guy needs to think too. Let's see. Mm. I'm watching fly right here. Oh, they already have that. And then this guy needs a tool for chopping. nice I also have all these bells which I can put to my disciples if they have a bad mood too I'm just getting like very like unorganized alright so I think I'm gonna end this video whenever this guy gets done thinking so there's not much to cover and there wasn't much to cover in this video because um my disciples aren't at primordial spirit and obviously and pretty much like before primordial spirit there's not much that you can do besides the things that i've already done so i'm pretty much just going through showing you guys how to do the adventure breakthrough it's not about the number to and to reiterate it's not about the number of adventures that you've done but rather the amount of time that you've been out on a map and I'm just doing um, adventures instead of camping in these areas because I do want to collect materials and I also want to unlock these locations and then besides that 
pretty much is once you get the golden core just do meditation as soon as possible and then equip the talismans for to increase your intelligence and your luck to get through those adventure breakthroughs and then if you can increase your social then that would be nice too and then just pretty much be sure to like continue to train up the next generation through raising Yagwai if you want to or you know just manage your sect and make it you know make it look nice or do whatever what you want to do while your guys are called to be into primordial spirit however the process to get into primordial spirit shouldn't be too long so as you can see like my guys they, I think they did their golden core breakdown like day 36 or something like that and they were pretty much done by day 38 and now it's day 43 and they're already 75% along the way to becoming primordial spirits and they're really just being blocked by this adventure breakthrough but for the laws that don't have the adventure breakthrough um this will be going by way faster so you know i'm just going to continue to unlock these locations and pretty much keep waiting and be sure to leverage these uh disciples and don't be in a rush to make them enter disciples if you can make them do some good work for you in the meantime like as you can see these guys are getting some wheat and my food is getting uh it's starting to get really high once these lotus farms start to work out then I'll also start to get some more food from those too so yeah let's just wait for this cat to finish thinking and then I'll end this video as you can see they're done thinking and I think I did want to do either pants or shield genesis so let's have them observe some pants Whenever I can find any that are close. Yep. You definitely do not want to do any events that you're not familiar with. Manifesting Miracle is a really bad event, so I don't even know why I clicked that. But you really want to avoid that one. So this guy I think pants. And then this guy needs a tool for chopping. And now this guy is ready to do another breakthrough to get another talisman. I'm just gonna cheat and use Great Painter mod to put on the impairment and permanent talisman. <laughs> I don't know why I said impairments and permanent talisman. And yeah, I'm pretty much just managing my sex. So, see you guys next video. And thank you for watching.